The former KwaZulu-Natal MEC for Agriculture and Deputy Speaker of the Provincial Legislature, Dr. Meshak, uh, Meshak Khadebe, has died. Khadebe passed away in hospital after a short illness. He was 72 years old. Thank you very much. Hailed as a peacemaker. Dr. Michel Khadebe played a pivotal role in the once troubled Mpumalanga Township. The violence between IFP and ANC supporters claimed many lives in the 1980s and 90s. Khadebe, who was a community activist, is credited with leading peace initiatives that ended the hostility between the two warring factions. He served in different positions in the provincial government in his over 40-year-long political career. Premier C. Lezigalala hailed his contribution in tackling societal challenges such as poverty. When he became part of government as the MEC, he was always actively engaged in programs that seek to ensure the development of the people, especially those who live in rural areas and in townships. Politicians say he was a hard-working leader. He passed on while he was admitted in hospital. He has been ill for a while, noting also his age that he was no longer young. He was still going to engage the family to regard the further details in regard to what exactly transpired and what is being planned for his funeral moving forward. He played a big role as an MEC of different departments and also as a deputy speaker. It is a sad day indeed in Wazun Atal. On behalf of the Inkata Freedom Party, I extend our deepest sympathies to the African National Congress for Dr. Hadebe, who was a loyal member and leader in the ANC. But I know that this loss goes well beyond the ANC. Dr. Hadebe was a friend of peace and a champion of reconciliation. His family says funeral details have not been finalized. Simpiwa Makanya, SABC News, Durban. All right, he was in that insert there. Let's discuss further. We're joined by the Premier of KwaZulu-Natal, Sihle Zikalala. Premier, our condolences uh, to you. Tell us more about uh, Meshak uh, Khadebe, whom you've hailed as one of the province's greatest sons. Dr. Meshak Khadebe is one of those who are leaving behind a great legacy, a legacy of giants who contributed to the development of humanity by sacrificing themselves. He is one of those who took risk and led the process of building peace in Guazulu Natal, especially in Hamasti, during the time of violence, especially between 1990 and 1995. He was first to receive the Africa Peace Award for the work that he did under very challenging conditions and risking even his own life. He worked with leaders of the ANC and the IFP, and we managed to achieve peace in Hamasti. But Hammersdale became then an example uh, which was to be emulated by many other areas that followed uh, subsequently in effort of building peace and coexistence between the ANC and the IFP. After he became part of government under Premier Ndebele and Premier Nkise, he was always working hard for the people. He was an activist who believed in changing the lives of the people. He would always be there whenever people are affected and respond to their plight with passion and great dedication. It is because of that that he earned himself a nickname of being called Umkumbi Wopnetezek because he will bring comfort and solace to people during difficult time, he was very instrumental and he had an ability to bring people together, especially he would work with different stakeholders, the traditional leaders, the religious sector, and ordinary people. He would be able to ensure that even young people are engaged in a fight against crime, 
in the fight against substance abuse and drugs. So we have lost quite a good leader, and we believe that all of us will emulate him and seek to achieve more from what they and his generation left uh, behind. Premier, thank you for outlining his role as a, as a peace broker. He's also been hailed by the IFP leader. Uh, that was at a, at a very troubled time. But even uh, since then, in, in more recent years, we've seen KwaZulu-Natal uh, in, in turmoil, political rivalry amongst officials over resources, killings, um, then factionalism. He was an ally of uh, former President Jacob Zuma. Uh, but, but you're saying he, even in that milieu, he, he wasn't part of the, the problem but could he still be a, a peacemaker? Yes, he will always go to branches to intervene and ensure that all comrades are working together in harmony and try to ensure unity of the ANC. But even when the ANC itself was written and divided by factional tendencies, Comrade Michel would be accessible to all, including those who might be seen to be on the other side. You are always friendly and open, but also you would be able to raise things where he feels that he, there is something wrong happening. He will raise those things openly at a safe, uh, during that particular time, and he will not begrudge anyone. Uh, you, you said he's a hands-on leader. He has a track record uh, in governance, MEC for social development, as well as agriculture and environmental affairs. Uh, w was there any sort of um, dream project, any, any big priority uh, for him? For him, he wanted, uh, while he was in social development, to ensure that especially people in rural areas get support and facilities that will assist them. And that's why you would go and emphasize that social development must have community centers that are rooted, that are in deep rural areas, so that people will have access to services. But when he was in agriculture, he emphasized planting, planting all over KwaZulu Natal and popularized the mechanization program as part of supporting. Uh, the substantial farmers, substantial farmers. Premier, uh, the the family uh, still in shock. They they said they can't give any details uh, of funerals or, or anything like that yet. Uh, can, can you give us any insight into how the province will will honour uh, the MEC? We have met with the family today, and we will be working with the family to ensure that he is given a send-off that befits his stature and his contribution to the society. We are going to work with uh, the family on pl all plans as we have started engaging with them today. And we will be able to uh, uh, make a full briefing on that as time goes on. All right, thank you very much for your time. That was Premier of KwaZulu-Natal, Sihle Zikalala. Meanwhile, the latest...